Hello everyone! This channel has reached 300,000 subscribers. I feel like it wasn't that long ago that I made my 200,000 subscriber special. It's so crazy how much this channel has grown. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do for this subscriber special because in my last one I did a Q&A and I wasn't sure if I should do another Q&A. So I let all of you pick what I do. And a majority of you said you wanted to see my original characters. There are a lot I need to introduce you to. <laughs> But before we start, I want to say thank you for being subscribers and for being a part of my life. You have all encouraged me so much and I am truly grateful. So thank you all so much for subscribing and commenting and watching my videos. I am so happy I get to share my art with all of you. As an extra thank you, I am doing a little giveaway. I have all of the info on my website and there's a link to it in the description so you can find all of the info there. So if you're interested in entering the giveaway, you can go to my website for all the information. So now I'll introduce you all to my original characters. So as I'm talking about my original characters, you'll be watching me draw some of my original characters as chibis. So I've created many, many original characters and some of them are kind of only in my head or I drew but then I kind of forgot all about them. So to count as an original character on this list, I had to remember their name and general personality and I also had to have drawn them before so we won't be including characters that are kind of only in my head. And I'll also be introducing you to my original characters pretty much in the order that I created them. So we'll start with the ones I created when I was super young and then we'll move our way up through the years. I did slightly arrange them in the middle because I also arranged it into uh, two parts. We have characters that I'm not super close with or like I don't consider my children, I suppose. <laughs> But then we have the other group of characters that are more near and dear to my heart and they're uh, special to me. Also, I won't have a ton to say about these older OCs, but once we start getting to uh, newer OCs, I'll have more to say about them because uh, they're a little bit more developed character-wise. So first we have Sophie and Jonah. I created Sophie and Jonah around the same time when I was about 15 years old. So Sophie is kind of outgoing and bubbly, but she can be kind of awkward at times. She doesn't have any special talents, but she wants to find something that she's passionate about. And she really likes to eat desserts. And Jonah is also 16 years old. Jonah doesn't talk very much and he doesn't show many emotions. Uh, people often think he's kind of a jerk. Um, and his family is kind of wealthy, so people think he's just this rich snob. They all think that he thinks that he's too good to talk to people, um, and really he's just kind of shy. Jonah really enjoys creating desserts. So the story for Sophie and Jonah was that uh, Sophie would meet Jonah and kind of befriend him, and then Sophie would learn how to make yummy desserts from Jonah. Next up we have Tori. She's 15 years old. She's kind of outgoing, spunky, and rebellious. Uh, she doesn't like being told what to do. To be honest, I don't remember a ton about Tori or her story. Next up we have Claire. She is 17. Uh, Claire is really quiet and shy and shows hardly any emotions. Um, at her school, she's known as the Ice Queen because she is kind of cold towards all of the other students. Next up we have Ariana, Steven, and Chloe. Ariana's nickname is Ari. She is 16 years old. Ari is kind of spunky and kind of sassy, uh, but she is really shy around the boy she likes. Steven is also 16. He is childhood friends with Ari and Chloe. Steven is the responsible one of the group. He likes Ari, but he doesn't tell her that. And for Chloe, and by the way, I have three original characters named Chloe. I didn't notice that until I was making this list. <laughs> uh, but Chloe is 16. Uh, Chloe is outgoing and bubbly and is very girly. Next up we have Topaz. She is 18 years old. Topaz is very kind and loves to help others. She'll always stand up for others even if it's not in her best interest. She has a sister named Jade. I never finalized uh, Jade's design so I can't really show her. Next up we have Kristen, Ethan, Megan, and Natalie. Kristen is the main character. She is 17. Kristen is very shy and she really wants to make friends. She has really low self-esteem and isn't confident in herself. Next we have Ethan. He is 18 years old. Ethan is very friendly and gets along well with others and he enjoys playing the piano. Megan is 17. Megan can be a little bit all over the place. <laughs> she has a hard time staying focused and kind of does things on a whim. 
Then we have Megan and Ethan's aunt, Natalie. She is 24. Uh, Natalie is a bit of a control freak and she likes everything to be organized. Uh, she runs the bakery that Megan and Ethan work at. And so I had actually uh, made this a comic book. I think I finished like 30 pages or something. I ended up giving up on it because I didn't like how the art was looking and I also didn't really know where I was going with the story because I wasn't really planning things out very well and uh, so yeah. <laughs> uh, so we have Kohei and he is 15. Uh, Kohei is very sweet and sincere. And then Katori is 15 and she is kind of shy, especially around Kohei. So Kohei and Katori are from my One Shot White Day. It's actually here on YouTube. I posted it after finishing I Want to Be a Magical Girl. So now we're moving on to the characters that are very near and dear to my heart. I call them my beeps. Um, it's kind of short for babies. <laughs> so first we have Pariah and Carson. And I was making a comic for Pariah and Carson. But the computer that I was making the comic on broke and I lost a lot of the files related to them. And so after I lost all those files, I didn't bother to try to make the story again. But I've still been kind of developing their world and their characters in my mind. So Pry and Carson are part of a group of fairy-like people that grow plants. Priya is an outcast in her village because she doesn't know what plant she grows and she also can't grow her plant. And so the village thinks she's some kind of disease or plague and so everyone kind of avoids her. Even though Priya is an outcast, she tries her best to stay optimistic and strong. She enjoys reading and spending time with her friend Mr. Froggy. She dislikes being left out, super hot days, and dry air. She has her friend Mr. Froggy. We don't know much about Mr. Froggy because he's a frog, but he seems very friendly and loyal. Next we have Carson. He is also 14. Carson is kind of meek, but he tries to not show it. He likes plants that smell nice and hates strong sunlight. Carson is able to grow moss. Next up we have Anne and Aiden. They are from my comic, I Want to Be a Magical Girl. I started posting I Want to Be a Magical Girl a really long time ago. I can't remember when I posted the first chapter on YouTube, but I had posted the whole series on YouTube um, and then I got it printed through a printing service. And in order for the printing service to print I Want to Be a Magical Girl, I had to take it off YouTube. And so only the first chapter is here on YouTube. Uh, if you want to consider getting I Want to Be a Magical Girl, it is available on Amazon. Uh, but the story of I Want to Be a Magical Girl is basically Anne really, really wants to be a magical girl. <laughs> Anne is 15 years old. Uh, she is very outgoing and talkative. She tends to follow her gut and she doesn't overthink things very much. She sometimes feels like she's boring and not special. Anne likes magical girl animes, hanging out with friends, and spending time with her mom. She dislikes dark chocolate and super villains. Aiden is also 15 years old. Aiden isn't the talkative type. He tends to keep things to himself. He's kind and responsible. He also has lightning powers. Then we have Anne's friend Emily. She is 15 and she likes tacos. Then we have Claire. She is in her late 20s. Claire is studious and responsible. She is very honest and says what she thinks and is very passionate about her work. Then we have Claire's older sister, Chloe. She is in her early 20s. Chloe hasn't always been the responsible type, but when she inherited Skye's industries, she tried her best to step up to the role required of her. Next, we have Cole. He's in his mid-20s. I can't say much about him. <laughs> It'd be spoilers. Next is Anne's mom. Anne's mom is very hardworking and tries her best to provide for Anne. Next is Aiden's mom. Aiden's mom is often very concerned about Aiden because he doesn't talk much. Lastly, we have Aiden's little sister, Peyton. She's kind of bossy and she isn't laid back like her older brother. <laughs> so those are the characters from I Want to Be a Magical Girl. So next is Elliot. Elliot is 22 years old. He is very friendly but doesn't talk to anyone. He is a performer. I haven't totally decided. He was a mime and then he was a circus performer and now I'm thinking he might be a mime again <laughs> or maybe both. Elliot really likes performing and making people smile and he also really likes cats. 
Elliot dislikes talking and being yelled at. I created Elliot when I was kind of going through a hard time and so Elliot's always been really comforting to me and is one of the reasons he has stayed one of my beeps. <laughs> Next up we have Tala. I kind of just created Tala randomly in my sketchbook. She is kind of lazy and easygoing. She's honest to a fault. She'll always say what she's thinking. She likes food and binge watching TV. <laughs> I actually decided to put Tala in the same universe as my new OC Raylan. I'll be talking about her in a little bit. So now we have Alfred. Alfred is 21 years old. He is kind of a rich snob. People assume he lives a life of leisure with no problems, uh, but he actually has a lot going on. <laughs> He's very snobby and kind of bossy. He likes tea and painting. He dislikes being told what to do and loud children. <laughs> So this next character I created from a Pinterest post. I saw this Pinterest post of a guy wearing an outfit similar to Takume's and I really liked the drawing I did and so I just kind of decided to make him a character. <laughs> so Takume's age is unknown but he seems to be in his mid-twenties. His likes are unknown. He dislikes enemies. <laughs> he is very serious and doesn't talk much and takes his job as a guard very seriously. Something happened in his past that still haunts him till this day. So Takume's story is that he works as a guard for a princess. He was recently hired by the king or emperor or something to watch over the princess. I just call the princess Hime. Uh, I haven't developed her character very much. So next we have the characters of my webcomic, My Next Door Neighbors. There are 27 chapters so far here on YouTube and I'll put a link in the description to the playlist. I have a lot to say about them but I'll try to not drag on for too long. So first we have the main character, Doris. She is 15 years old. Doris is very shy and has always had a hard time making friends. When Doris and her family moved to a new city, she decided she wanted to change. She tries her best to push herself to try new things and talk to others. Doris likes the color blue, science, plants, reading, penguins, and baking simple sweets. She dislikes spicy food, scary things, and talking in front of lots of people. Other facts about Doris is that she isn't very good at sports. She cries easily and she doesn't get angry very easily. Next is Chase. He is 15 years old. Chase is friendly and gets along well with others because of his kind nature and good looks. <laughs> he is kind of popular with the girls at the school, but he doesn't know that. Chase likes to include others. If he sees someone that is left out, he tries to include them. Chase likes the color red, snow leopards, tennis, video games, and hanging out with friends. He dislikes swimming, large bodies of water, and overly sweet foods. Other facts about Chase is that he tends to hold in his negative feelings. He likes pushing himself to achieve new goals, especially for tennis and fitness. He prefers vanilla over chocolate. Chase is also pretty good at cooking. He learned how to cook from his dad. Now we're on to Brayson. Brayson is 15 years old. Brayson is very blunt and says what he thinks, even if it may hurt another person's feelings. <laughs> But after meeting Doris, he tries to be better about watching his mouth. <laughs> Brayson enjoys his alone time. He loves all things music. He posts his music online, but he doesn't tell many people about it. He's actually kind of popular. He likes the color green, turtles, sweets, creating music, sleeping, and video games. He dislikes people taking off his headphones or earbuds, exercising, being bossed around, and spiders. He really dislikes spiders. <laughs> Other facts about Brayson, he has great respect for his mom. He helps out around the flower shop whenever he is needed. He doesn't like seeing girls cry, especially if he's the one that caused it. His resting face naturally makes him look annoyed. <laughs> Next is Annabelle, she's 15 years old. Annabelle is very diligent and self-motivated. Because Annabelle's appearance is cute, people often assume she is sweet and girly, but she can actually be pretty intimidating. <laughs> she has no problem vocalizing her opinions and standing up for herself and others. She won't put up with people who are being unjust. Annabelle likes the color purple, math, the debate team, giraffes, sudoku puzzles, and checking off her to-do list. She dislikes people who are lazy and make others do their work being late, and disorganization. <laughs> Other facts about Annabelle, she can get kind of jealous when it comes to boys. Even though Annabelle is a little younger than Doris, she is like an older sister to Doris. Now we have Emmett. 
He is 15 years old. Emmett is easygoing and likes to have fun. He can be very competitive and doesn't like losing. Emmett is honest and is most often seen smiling. He is the second oldest of five kids. He helps out part-time at his family's antique shop. Likes the color yellow, tennis, video games, pizza. Dislikes studying, but he tries his best. Waking up early, sitting still for long periods of time. Other facts about Emmett, his older sister likes to tease him. He shares a room with his two brothers. Now we have Faith. Faith is 15 years old. Faith is kind and sociable. She loves to sing and perform on stage. She is pretty confident in herself and her abilities. Faith lives with her grandparents. She loves them both very much and is very thankful for everything they have done for her. Faith likes the color teal, singing, acting, hanging out with her friends, anime, K-pop, and J-pop. Dislikes being underestimated and being forced to eat foods that she doesn't like. Other facts about Faith is that she's kind of a picky eater. She dyes her hair pink. She begged her grandma for months to let her dye her hair pink. Her grandma finally caved in. <laughs> the other characters of my next door neighbors are Zoe. She's 15 years old. Zoe has a hard time expressing herself. This can make her seem kind of cold. She likes the color black and scary movies. Dislikes being forced to do things she doesn't want to do. Then we have Faith's friends, Phil and Chloe. Phil is 16 years old. He likes to sing, dance, and act and has two older sisters. Chloe is 15. She likes singing and acting. Wishes more boys would notice her. <laughs> we have one more character of my next door neighbors, but I can't talk about him because or else it'd be spoilers. So I'm not going to talk about him. <laughs> So now we have all of the parents of my next door neighbors and I'll try to go through them quickly. So we have Doris's mom. She is kind of outgoing and she is a party planner. Then we have Doris's dad. He's a little bit more quiet and reserved. He's an accountant. We also have Doris's little brother Danny and he likes video games and superheroes. Then we have Chase's dad. He owns his own restaurant and works as a chef. He can be kind of a jerk face, just saying. <laughs> Then we have Brayson's mom. She's very kind and caring, but she has no problem disciplining Brayson if needed. Oh, and she also runs a flower shop. Then we have Annabelle's mom. Annabelle's mom is very sweet and kind. She works as a therapist. Then we have Faith's grandparents. Her grandma is a little bit more strict and uptight, but her grandpa is a bit easygoing and kind of lets Faith get away with things that she probably wouldn't get away with with her grandma. <laughs> I guess we also have Emmett's siblings, but I haven't really figured out their characters very much and I don't think they all have names yet. <laughs> So those are the characters from my webcomic My Next Door Neighbors. We only have two characters left. So next we have Raylan. I actually created Raylan in one of my YouTube videos. I had my Instagram followers help create her and I liked her so much that she became one of my beebs. I call Raylan my edgy sheep. Uh, so she is part sheep. And in Raylan's world, sheep are often stereotyped as being really sheepish and not outgoing and quiet and weak. Raylan was often bullied when she was younger and she got tired of it. So she decided to start standing up for herself and started acting super tough. Raylan is very rebellious and doesn't like being told what to do. Also, she is 16 years old. So this last character, I don't know if I consider him one of my children yet. I just recently created him. Uh, so this is Robert. Robert is a prototype robot butler. He strives to make his owner happy. Robert has different wigs that he wears. His master likes to change them often. He does have one wig that he prefers. So he tries to wear that one as much as he can. <laughs> so those are all of my original characters, I think. I think I remembered everyone. I hope I did. I was trying so hard to make sure I remembered everyone. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed getting to meet my original characters. I had a lot of fun getting to tell all of you about them and letting you meet them. Also, thank you all so much again for 300,000 subscribers. I am truly so thankful. And yeah, thank you so much. Also, don't forget about the giveaway. Make sure to check out all of the info in the description and on my website and all that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.